Hello and welcome, it's Jenny Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am going to do a bit of balloon art magic, but in, it's called, I call them sticky kisses because it's a different, it's sort of a monochrome, only using maybe uh, one colour or uh, just one shade. And I'm just gonna give you a quick demo of how I mix my paint for it. I'm gonna try mixing it on this piece of plastic. Um, and I'm gonna use a sponge and I'm going to use a piece of glass. So to do my sticky kisses on glass. So I'll show you how I prepare the glass first um, is you use gloved hands because then you won't get any of your body oils on the um, glass and then just with a lint free cloth is wipe your glass over so you get any sticky fingerprints or anything off your glass. So I'm going to do this on both sides actually. So that's that side so I'm just using a hundred and well that's 99.8% pure isoprol but I, I guess any kind of strength will work okay it just gets rid of oh any uh, stickiness on your glass or any fingerprints and gives you a nice clean area to um, work with this is a glass off a photo frame so I'm gonna see if I can put it back together in the frame um, and then the art is actually on the glass. So I have tried this before and last time I put uh, the masking tape on the edge of the glass just for protection against my fingers getting cut. Okay so that's that. I'm just get this, you, you can use a just um, I guess a palette a colour palette or something that's plastic that the colours will slide easy over. So I'm going to use a bit of the blue, I think it's called greenish blue from Amsterdam. Let me see, yeah it's called greenish blue. You can literally use any acrylic paint for this, I thought it was only certain acrylic paints but it, they all do work in different ways so that was oh sorry sorry the PBO iridescent blue green maybe I should stay with the blues this one's iridescent green yellow so I'll just see how I go with that uh, the next thing is you just squirt a bit of water on your acrylic. So this is just water that I've put in a, uh, reusing this spray bottle. So it's just HTO, 2O. I'm just gonna spray each color. And where's my balloon? I'm gonna use the balloon to actually mix the color. So it's on this plastic, remember, so it's just that bit of water on it. I think it needs a little bit more water. What water? So it's not really, you don't want it really runny. You kind of want it so it's sticky, but still uh, that'll, you know, sort of spread easy. So I might try spraying my balloon, might be a good idea. thing is you've got to wipe your balloon off in between the different colours otherwise you're going to just mix the last colour straight into your other one. So again, see that's too sticky but it does leave a really nice effect. So just water, that's all it is, is just mixing it till you get a bit of sticky sticky Okay, I'll wipe that off my balloon. Now for my other colour. And it's just kind of working your paint. I've got it on this plastic so I can work from it, I guess. I'll show you one started earlier. 
this is it's already dried up i put some blue paint in here with a bit of water and this sort of um sea sponge so it's got lots of the paint on it so it's all it's all dried up in there. there's actually nothing there it's just the um sea sponge holding it so i'm just going to try doing one monochrome color so it's just with the sea sponge just swirling it over so it covers it up right rightio that's that one i'm gonna see how the balloon works with just the one color so i'll just get my balloon so no special balloon or anything and i just want to do the little swirls and you just find how uh, therapeutic this is just even doing swirls balloon swirls which leaves a really nice effect i did this on um i used this blue on my fridge door of an old fridge that i've got here in my art studio and it, on the stainless steel and it come out really nice so it's given me a few ideas for an further video so that's just my swirls so you could you could make a whole uh, piece of art doing this and it's even if it's for the therapy content of it it's quite um easy and therapeutic but i'm gonna just so let's do this thing let's leave a nice swirly background so once you've actually put that amount of paint on there it, it, you can work it so you can just grab the belly button of the balloon it kind of looks like seashells or discus fish leaves a really nice effect all on its own just from the simple simple pimple balloon you could do of lovely magical things in it so I just wanted you to get the gist of it so just let's see when this is fully dry you could just varnish spray varnish it over to set those lovely um, effects and it would look just piece of, great as a piece of monochrome art but this is on glass so I'm hoping when I turn it over looky looky can you see those lovely design in there i mean when it, if it has a black or something background or a white background you don't need to then um varnish it or anything because it's actually under the glass so that's just a monochromey look so i'm going to wipe that off to start with my colors see what the colors bring out on it so as you see, if you just start playing with the first one for effect, for, um, you know, just having a, a fun time with it and perfecting how you want to do it, it can be easily wiped off. There's my um, gecko. He's approving, giving me the tut. So I'm just going to wipe my balloon clean. I'm going to wipe that back over dry so it doesn't leave too wet and then I'll try with these other colors I've got here so I might start with this it needs a spray a bit more water a bit more water 
Oh, no, my bottle's decided to car kit. Let's see, I'm gonna get some color on here. See, I've done it on my art board. Um, seemed a little bit easier than doing it this way on an art board, but I just wanted to try it on the little glass. See what I got. I think mixing this light and dark green together or the blue, it's called the green blue. It's gonna work a bit better for me. So I'm just swirling it on the color and then putting it on like this, just to get some paint on my glass. And I'll um, see how we go. I've got my green. I suppose you could even just put some of the paint onto your, wherever you're gonna do this effect, whether it be glass or an art board. I don't find this effect works so well on canvas doing this. You get these lovely kind of different effects if they're on more of a solid shiny surface, like a piece of laminated surface. I'm gonna bring in the dark blue now and see. I need some more sticky. So it's kind of adding the waters, making the paint sticky. Enough to, oh, this blue mixed with that greeny blue is just divine. Okay. I love the sound it makes. It makes that lovely, I don't know, it's just, oh, look at those effects. I need to bring you down closer to get the real look of these. Just, just working in it, it's like work it, work it, work it. So I keep swirling it, colours are becoming really lovely because it's obviously got some. Now I'm going to go for the lovely, lovely effects it gives. It's really, I need to bring you right down here in a second. Shells or See an anemone and an anemone, whatever you call them. They give a really textured effect, so I guess my next thing I should try with this is um, with texture in my paint. This would be really lovely to do on a glass splashback. So that's another must try. So let's see what it looks like on the other side. You need something. Oh, oh look at that. It looks so nice with a, wow, that looks so nice with a light behind it. I've just set. Can you see that? I need to bring you down closer to have a look at these. It's so pretty. I'm not sure if you've seen what I see up there. Just look at these fantastic effects from such a simple process. It really does look as though it has texture in it. So my thought is to mix some texture paints with the paint and make it and see if I can get sort of those effects even more so with a little bit of texture paste in there. But those colors, look at that. Let me turn it over. I'll turn it over while I'm holding the camera. Whoops. That's reflecting back up at the light. But that's the other side. So you wouldn't even need to, you could put it in a frame or you could, just a brilliant, ooh, brilliant idea for a splashback. 
so that I've got a long piece of glass that I could try it on. So that may be definitely on the cards next week. So have a go at this. It is so much fun. It's so therapeutic to hear the balloon, you know, click clacking away, like I said. Like, and look at the effect. Just beautiful. Just a fun, easy, quick technique. Loads of thoughts going through my head now. I definitely would look so amazing as a, a glass splashback. A splashback or back splash as they call it in the US. In, in Australia we call it a splashback and I know the US it's, it's a back splash. Back splash. <laughs> Anyway, my lovelies, thank you so much for joining me. I'm back from a holiday a day ago. I'm rested and relaxed, had a lovely time by the water, read a book and just chillaxed, no painting at all while I was away. So it's good to have a break and now I'll come back with a renewed vigour. Okie doke. Bye for now.